Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, terms goes further into the point to line distance formula and now look at a second geometric proof and this is part of my uh, point to line distance formula proof videos just to show the um, many different ways of solving the same mathematical problem of finding the finding the distance from a point to a line or the shortest distance to them. So let's just jump right in. So just as in the algebraic and geometric proofs, this proof is only valid for slanted lines, but nonetheless the final result applies to both horizontal and vertical lines. And you can see uh, how I did that at, in my first video on distance to uh, yeah on the point line distance formula on the algebraic proof. So make sure to watch out. All the videos will be in the link in the description below. So let's jump right in. So recall from the first geometric proof video number one that we had something that looks like this here. Let's write the y-x axis. So if we had a point here, and I'll call this point P, that has the coordinates x zero and y0 like that, then the shortest distance to a line is going to be the perpendicular distance across here, and we're going to call that uh, distance d, and this is to the line where, where it's written as the in equation ax plus by plus c equals to 0. Yeah, so we had something like this, and then if you were to draw the slope of this line, that's going to be, well, absolute value of A is the rise of a run there, and I'll explain that in a bit uh, uh, as I later go in this video. But also recall that using Pythagoras, this distance across here is just going to be A squared plus B squared, all square root like that. And this is the same angle because it's a vertical line down, and vertical line down is just the same angle, and it's touching the same line like that. Yeah, so in the geometric proof number one, I use the angle and and use trigonometry to equate the two triangles or the ratios of the tr of the triangles to solve for distance d. But now we're going to look at using area. So I'll get to that in a bit. So recall that a distance is the closest uh, is the closest or the uh, this distance d is the closest distance from a point p to the line ax plus by plus c equals to zero. Also recall that the second triangle here, I'll call it the a b. Triangle represents the slope of the line or rise of a run. So if we were to just, just uh, drag this down, rearrange this for solving for y, we get y equals 2. Well, the, negative, the ax goes to there, goes negative ax. And then the c, negative c, divide everything by b, like that. And then th we have the a over b, that is our slope, which remember equals just to rise over run. Yeah, so now let's look at that second way of solving it, again using uh, geometric or geometry uh, type proof. So now another way of solving for distance d is to place that second triangle directly on top of the first triangle and then equate two areas, one of which includes d, hashtag actually genius, and I'll show you that on the bit. So basically what we'll do is move this over on top of that triangle. So what we end up having is something that looks like this over here. X, this is our Y, like that. Alright, so now we have this X, Y axis. So let's just draw this all out. I'm going to draw a line going from here to there. And I'll call this AX plus BY plus c equals to zero. So that's our line. And let's say we had a point across, let's just draw it somewhere here. And I'll call this point as coordinates x zero, y zero. And then the closest distance to it is a line that's perpendicular or forms a right angle like that. Yeah, so it's a right angle like that. And this distance is d like that. I'll call it d. And now uh, this vertical distance, so if we just draw a vertical line straight down, I'm going to call this, well, this coordinates right here. This is the x0, and then it's going to be a different y, same x, different y, call it y0. And now this distance across is going to be y0 minus y1, or just look at the absolute value of that. And now what I'll do is, well, place this triangle on top of it, so it's the same vertical line. So let's say we have the uh, the slope here is going to be just again rise of a run. I'll just draw it extending out from here, like that. 
I'll just extend this out. Yeah, extend it out like that. So remember, this one is going to be absolute value of A. And here, actually, just quickly just change the color. So absolute value of A and just made it all in red. This one, absolute value of B like that. So for indicating rise or run, the B is the run, A is the rise. And yeah, now that we have that, well, the hypotenuse again, yeah, recall that this one is just going to be square root a squared plus b squared using Pythagoras. And now what we can do now, this is the genius part as well, if we extend a line from here all the way out to here. Yes, yeah, so if we have a line like that, now we have a large triangle that we can actually write it in multiple ways. Yeah, or the area of it. Now here I'll just highlight this actually in blue like that. And the way we could do is, well, recall that the equation of a triangle, so write this here, recall that area of a triangle, area of triangle equals to base times height. And then this one is just divide this by two like that. So that means we can just look at this right here and look at it. Now we have a base, oh, if we look at it this side, where the base is going to be, I'll extend this out like that. Base is y0 minus y1, or absolute value of it. Draw this a bit better, like that. Yeah, so that base right there, y0 minus y1, or, and then the height b, or absolute value of b, and also we could write it as, well, d as the height, and then the base right here, square root a squared plus b squared, like that. So absolutely amazing. So, thus uh, area equals to, well, base times height, so we'll have the height here, d, times it by the base, square root, a squared plus b squared, and and it equals two, we all just, instead of and just write equals two. Likewise, again, you have to divide this by two, forgot about that, so you have to divide by two, and likewise it equals two, where that's the base, and that's the height, or absolute value of b, times it by uh, absolute value of y0 minus y1, the difference in that, like that, all divided by two. And then what we can do is, well, cancel the twos and move this over to that side. And also what I'm gonna do is, well, recall for absolute values that if we have something like an x, absolute value of x times absolute value of y, the same thing as writing absolute value of x, y, like that, because whatever negative positive is, it just ends up canceling at the end when you do absolute value. So we could bring this b inside of there, so we get and rearrange this over, put this all the way over there. So we have D, the distance is equal to, and put this inside, we have absolute value of uh, B Y zero minus B Y one, because we just multiply it inside, all divided by square root A squared plus B squared, like that. And now we can uh, solve for Y one, that's the only thing we need to solve, and Y one right there, Remember, it's on this line there, and uh, the coordinates is x0, y1. So, what we'll write as well, we know that x0, y1, this point is on ax plus by plus c equals to 0. So when it's inside there, well, we just uh, plug those in. So we have ax0 plus b y1 plus c equals 0. And again, rearrange this as I showed above to get the in the other format for solving for y, where you had the slope. In other words, we'll just move this over to that side. We get y1 equals 2. Well, negative ax0, move this over. Negative c divided by b, is put it like this over there. So we get this value there. Or I'll just circle this whole thing like that. And now we can drag this inside there, and the b's cancel, and the negatives cancel out as well. And we end up getting is thus, we get d is equal to, so b y 0, yeah, minus this all becomes positive. So we get absolute value of this is, this is going to be, I'll just write this here all out, b y 0 minus b like this, negative ax0 minus c over b like that. Absolute value over square root a squared plus b squared. And again, the b is just cancel, 
So like this, this cancels and this all becomes positive. All the negatives become positive. So then we have D is equal to absolute value of uh, this becomes positive. I'll just put that AX0 in front. AX0 plus BY0. And then this one is just a plus C because the negative cancels out like that. <laughs> There's our equation of a line divided by A squared, B squared, all square root. So we get there. There is our equation of a line. Absolutely fascinating just using the area method. So yeah, that's all for today. Hopefully you followed along. And as you can see from here, from earlier videos, the exact same values there. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned and um, enjoy these multiple different methods. And this one's, a, in my view, a pretty ingenious method of solving for the distance formula from a point to a line. Anyways, all for today. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, you can also download these notes in the video description below, as well as viewing these notes on Steemit. And also make sure to post whatever cool math or science related stuff on my math forums. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.